Bucks. In support, support group known as Alcoholics Anonymous, AA, they refer to certain people as such unfortunates. The AA Big Book, which is like the Bible, the Bible states, Rarely have we seen a person fail, fail who has thoroughly followed our path. Those who do not recover are people who cannot or will not completely give themselves to this simple program. Usually men and women who are consciously incapable constitutionally incapable, being honest with themselves. They they are such unfortunates. They are not to be fault uh, fault. They seem to have been born that way. They are naturally incapable of grasping, developing the way of life which demands rigorous honesty. Their chances are less than average. This paragraph summed me up. My chances of getting sober and surviving addiction to heroin were, unfortunately, less than average, to put it mildly. Whenever I would attend an AA meeting, they would always read this package paragraph. I always made me think of myself. I knew this was probably not going to make it. I was probably not going to make it. Strange enough, I related more to that single paragraph than other things I have ever read or heard in the meetings. One part that they... And ninety nine percent of doctors, therapists, addiction specialists, and everyone else who wrong are wrong about is why I was that way. What well, causes people to become addicts in the first place? Their assertion is they seem to have been born that was way. It's just complete nonsense. I mean, how are you born with nothing to do with with any why a person chooses to destroy themselves a mood altering chemical? A heroin addiction and any other addiction. For that matter, never start with heroin, cocaine, marijuana, alcohol, or any other drug. There are no gateway drugs. It does not begin with some dealer coming up to you saying, "I'll oh, try this. It'll make you feel good." It does. It does not start with peers explaining, explaining, "Try this. Everybody's doing it." It does not even begin with some doctor prescribing you an addictive drug. It's no government conspiracy to make people addicts. It's not something you're born with doesn't run in your genes. It most certainly not a family disease. It's nothing to do with your race, age, age, race, sex, height, weight, or where you come from. You cannot outsmart it. It to be too stupid to avoid it. There's only one thing that 90% of drug addicts have in common. The one reason addicts do what they do stems from their severe childhood abuse. This abuse may be sexual, physical, emotional, or combination of childhood trauma. I would say that most addicts have suffered from sexual abuse, which involves a lot of unimaginable incestual abuse. I'm not saying that everyone who had suffered child abuse will become an addict. I, however, every other addict I have met had this one thing, and only this one thing in common. Every single one experienced horrible childhood trauma and were sexually abused. Say the people who were supposed to be protectors became predators. They took advantage of their children's trusting nature for their sexual gratification. When they do, what, when they do this, they kill a child's soul in innocence in a flash, gone forever. A child must now deal with feelings no child should ever have to endure. They feel disgusting and loved. These feelings will never go away. Child no longer needs to feel safe and protected. Child will feel as though what happened is their fault and begin to hate themselves. This will lead to a fa- future saturated pain, anxiety, depression, eventually addiction. A child has been sexually abused with spirits and a whole host of other problems. Their lives will become a living hell, which puts them on the fast track of becoming an addict. As a child suffers in silence because they are unable to tell anyone, dishonesty becomes their most important survival to them, and the truth is too painful. A lie becomes a truth. The abuse also causes the child's brain to develop improperly compared to the brain of a non-abused child. The abused child's brain <coughs> produces improper levels of serotonin, dopamine, no, nora, raphaphane, and endorphins. As a result, a child will suffer from learning disabilities, extreme boredom, depression, ADHD, HT anxiety, lack of vigour and lust for life. This child will not have a drive but pushes people to get out of bed in the morning, which ends, which makes accomplishing anything 
this child's life ten times harder than it will be for be for anyone else. For those young victims, normal things like school or playing sports will take an incredible amount of effort. They may not experience enjoyment like others do while particularly partaking participating in their activities. Instead of start to daydream, create fantasy worlds that make their nightmares more bearable. Their child it's the child start getting into trouble by becoming class clown, getting failing grades, quitting sport and experimenting with drugs, alcohol and smoking cigarettes. They become sexually active, lose their virginity at a very early age because they do not feel as though their body is something that should be valued. You will also exhibit dry, deep animation for celebrities and believe that someone will love them if only you two could become famous. No matter how hard they try, a abused child can only watch as someone, as everyone around them accomplishes things that they cannot. This makes them more depressed. Some are more trapped. They are trapped within a social circle of disappointment and despair. Because their boundaries have been so violated, it will make them vulnerable to make, be, being taken advantage by bullies and manipulators who find them to be easy targets. This old abused child will fail at creating healthy relationships and skill boundaries with their peers because they simply do not know how. The intimate non relationships will not be healthy ones because they feel disgusted with themselves. The abused child loves, grows up believing how or why other person could believe, could love them. They will t- practice them dishonesty. Their lies will inflict upon more damage on their relationships or base around jealousy and all for nothing terms. These situations will happen. The child will not always understand why. They will start to think they have not had a mistake. They have just bad, a mistake, evil, gross, unloved and failure. Then begin hating themselves even more as a result. I know this because that child was me. I experienced all these horrible things. I am engulfed in this nightmare, for I had a chance to understand and dealt with the best, best I could, which created the ideal environment for my drug addiction to manifest. During childhood, I thought my life was bad. I would not get worse, but I was in for a big surprise. It's about to go to hell and back and live to tell about it. <laughs>